Earlier this year, the city of Blaine voted to sell city-owned land to the Minnesota Department of Public Safety for one dollar. Now, as Danica Peterson explains, the city has made more than a million dollars from the one dollar land sale thanks to wetland bank credits. The Blaine Economic Development Authority sold a 20-acre parcel of land off Pheasant Ridge Drive to the state of Minnesota in July for a dollar. The state wants to build a new emergency operations center there. However, the land is primarily wetlands, and it will cost about $800,000 to get it shovel ready. The property as it sits today really doesn't have much value because of what needs to go into it. The state also has to buy wetland credits to offset the wetlands that will be filled in for the build. If you fill a wetland, you have to fill it at a two to one ratio. So if you fill one acre, you have to buy two acres of credit. These wetland credits can vary in price, but Blaine's EDA normally sells them for $2.50 per square foot. In this case, the city and the state negotiated a lower price for the large purchase. The state agreed to pay $1.50 per square foot, netting Blaine $1.1 million. At this week's EDA meeting, the sale was approved. So with the EDA Wetland Bank, our policy is, is that we try to sell those credits for economic development projects within the community, and that's been our practice with that bank. The state will build a new emergency operations center and an office for the State Division of Homeland Security on the site. It will be a two-story, 50,000-square-foot facility. It will bring dozens of state employees to Blaine every day, hopefully creating more economic growth. They stated that these jobs will generate or, or have a salary of about $70,000 per year. And when we look at projects like this, we understand or want to understand what are these employees going to be doing. It's likely that some of the employees will buy a house in Blaine. It's likely these employees will eat lunch in Blaine. Uh, they told us that there is going to be various training opportunities at this facility, so there'll be people coming to our community where they may, to, may need to stay in a hotel. So we look at this type of project globally for the other impacts that it can have um, with development in our community. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson reporting. Thorvig said the state liked this property for its proximity to 35W and also for the ability to remain moderately secluded from nearby properties. Construction on the site will begin next year.